today, this morning, have arrived in Tenby. As you can see behind me there. I haven't got my uh, gimbal on my phone this morning because I've just set it up and batteries died, unfortunately. I'm now in 10 minutes from Swansea and I'm here. Found free parking area and obviously I can just see over this wall, I can see everything I need to see. So I'm going to have a wander now, take some photographs. That's what it's about today, just take some photos while the tide's in. Once the tide goes out uh, and I go for have a break, then have some dinner. Uh, if right, the horizon's a bit wonky on this phone, forgive me, like I say, because I haven't got the gimbal on, but yeah, I'm going to go down there, take some photos and just crack on with it. And uh, hopefully you'll see some of those later. I've just come down on the beach and I've got the rock in the foreground and um, the <coughs> jetties or whatever you want to call them, boat jetties in the background there. It's a nice composition, quite like it. Uh, I don't know, you can see, just one second, we flip round. So that's the image I've captured so far. What I want to do is this here, I love this reflection in the sand here. But obviously in a long exposure, the tide's still coming over it at the moment. So it's sort of masking it a little bit. So what I'm just doing, I'm just waiting now for that tide to drop back a little bit more. I've done a shorter exposure, just show you. So I've done that one, and one sec. And I've done a series of shorter exposures as well. That's a second, and you can see there the reflection in the sand of the rock, and I quite like that, I think that's really nice. And there's the long exposure version, two minutes. It's raining a little bit, so I'm battling against that and getting a bit of spray on me, on me filter, but basically, yeah, just waiting for that tide to drop back a little bit more, just so I can catch that reflection in the sand a little bit better on the long exposure as well as the shorter one. So it's two minutes on the long one, second on the shorter one, and uh, see how that looks. Walk, come down the walkway, just walk through the town bit, and I will say this is this place is fantastic. I love it. Wow, I'm glad I came here. Well, this wasn't on my original list to do, so it was nowhere near. I thought I'll come back to that next time. I knew it was further along the coastline, but do you know what? I love this place. This is fantastic. Absolutely love it. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I mean, I've already got the, the rock shot over there. I was on the beach over there before, and uh, probably not, you know, I'm sure there are better shots out there, but they're my shots anyway, and I'm happy with them, and that's all that matters. But uh, you can see down there, some steps down here, going to the uh, rocks at the bottom, and obviously this boat jetty here. Long exposure, black and white probably, this jetty. This light, this very, very fine rain that's happening at the moment is really difficult to contend with. I'd much rather it be absolutely hammering it down, because at least that'd come straight down, and I could just use my brolly to, to guard it. But well, basically this, this fine rain, and you, you, you won't be able to see it now, but it's an absolute nightmare because I've just been watching it and it's literally floating through the air. It sort of comes down and then it's like this. Oh, and it's obviously wherever I put my brolly, I'm trying to deflect it, whichever angle I do, it's just hitting the front and I'm just trying to capture this one exposed before I move round to the other one. Anyway, I'm just having to stand here and wait now for it to just stop long enough, hopefully I can catch this shot and then I'll move round the other side. But yeah, ah. Oh. Frustrating, frustrating, but that's landscape photography for you, isn't it? It looks like it's just stopped, so I'm going to grab the shot now, quick, while I can. Two minutes, hopefully. Yep, it's stopping, I'm going to grab the shot. I have to say, this place has just got bags of potential. The compositions here are endless. Oh, wow, I've just come up here, up this walkway, past the uh, boat jetties. Look at this over here. Wow, it's, it's fantastic. It reminds me of some sort of like Alcatraz type thing, but like it's a fort, some sort of fort, isn't it? Yeah, the camera's not blowing. This place is awesome. 
I, I could spend a few days just here, I think. Definitely, I'm going to come again. I'm going to spend a few days here. Unfortunately for me at the moment, the weather's not great. It's gotten windy now and uh, the rain's just getting worse. So that's unfortunate because oh, the shots I could get here, mate. Everywhere I look, it's stunning, absolutely stunning. So definitely, definitely going to come here again. Definitely. I'm just hoping this rain stops now so I can take some shots, but uh, looking like it's set for the day. But yeah, if it stops, obviously I'll grab some shots. I'm going to go back, get the gimbal in a bit, do some video as well. But yeah, that is a fantastic view. And some fantastic photography to be had here in the right conditions. I'm just going to wait it out. I'm going to stay here all day and uh, hopefully the weather will improve and I can get some nice shots. Yeah, I've finished with the camera this morning session. Tide's gone out now. I, I followed it out. I didn't leave the scene until it had gone all the way out. Now, uh, didn't reveal, like yesterday at um, Mumbles, where it revealed a lot of sort of rock structure that you could get countless compositions from. Uh, 10B is more sort of sandy, so it didn't reveal loads of rock structures. Got a couple of okay shots, which I'll show you later. Um, but yeah. It's started raining again. It's been on and off all morning. It's a challenge, uh, especially that fine rain, because like I say, the wind as well, you're just blowing it all over the front of the camera. And all my cloths are now wet, so I'm just smearing now. I got some shots. Yeah, I battled through it and got some shots. Hopefully some of them are okay. Uh, I'll know better when I get home. But yeah, um, just go back to the car to do a recharge, have a couple of myself and my me, me batteries now. I have a um, Best Tech inverter 300 watt power inverter which has got a cigarette lighter end on it and i plug it into me socket and uh, i can plug ac in so i can plug all my charges in charge my batteries it's okay it, it, the batteries take a while to charge anyway even plugged into the wall at home so it takes a while to charge my batteries but it's doable at least you know if i go out for a few days i've only got two nikon batteries and three fuji so you know the alternative is get a load more batteries and it might be something i might do i don't know because I've come back to the car to charge and for some reason, I didn't hear it go bang, pop, fizz, you know, smell anything, but for some reason it's now not working. Don't know why. I've even tried plugging it into the back socket and nothing. Um, now I've plugged other stuff into the socket and they work fine. So yeah, it looks like it's blown. That's a shame. So I can't charge my batteries. I've still got three full chip uh, Fuji batteries charged from last night. So um, I do plan on staying right through the day into the evening. I was going to stay through possibly into the morning, but obviously if I stay through into the morning, I've now got no way of charging my batteries, which is unfortunate. I've used, I've already depleted one full Nikon D810 battery this morning session, so I'm saving the other one for this evening session because I will go out and shoot again when the tide starts to come back in. But in the meantime, next couple of hours, tide's doing nothing, so I'm going to go out and I'm going to go and shoot some B-roll. And I will come again here, I think, definitely. I think there's bags of potential here. The weather's just holding me back a little bit today. You know, I would have got a lot more shots this morning had the weather played ball a little bit more. But it is what it is, and uh, I've tried my best. So I've got my gimbal. And you can see that. I've shown you this already. Come on, Anthony, get it right. Right, that's it. There we go. So, yeah, I've got my gimbal. I've got it on the dual stand this time. So I've got two and I've got two angles, a bit more stability when you're holding it two-handed rather than one. Sort of moving back and forth and you can do better move. So I decided to get the two handle out because I'm not doing any photos as well. There's your little controls on there. And obviously this balances up. It's not balancing at the moment because it's got the cap on, believe it or not, that little cap makes all the difference. So yeah, 